Right guys, today I'm uh, at the abandoned lake, uh, reversing top waters. I was here yesterday, had a four or five pike come up, come to me, come off straight away. So I'm back here for a quick session just in the morning, uh, I think about three hours. So fingers crossed I do get one. So see how it goes. I've got no filming equipment with me, so I'm just relying on my bag and bike to stand stuff up. So. Might not get the best of shot, but still worth a try. See when we get casted in. Right guys, the gear that I'm using today is the uh, NGT XPR drop shot rod, uh, seven foot. Um, it's at five to 25 gram weight, so uh, re relatively uh, light, odd, heavy-ish actually I'd say, but uh, I snapped the tip on it on holiday, so not the best thing, but it's actually just turned into basically a spinning rod. I just fold the top down of it and uh, bent the arm back out. So it, it, it worked for me fine. I've got that paired up with uh, a four inch wire trace, a little bit small, but some of the pike in here don't go above like four pounds, five pounds, so should be decent. Uh, I've got five pound braid, not the best braid for uh, cutting through the lilies, but it's paired with the reel and I can't be bothered to re-spool it. It does all right for me, so it's happy days. And I've got a 3,000 size uh, Savage Gear reel. Uh, the, the first reel I started off with in there fishing, so still got it, doing me well. And today I'm using little frogs. I think they're about two inches big, or well, about an inch wide. They're really, really small, so. I'm surprised I actually hooked a few pike yesterday, if I'm being honest. But it's all right, to be honest. I've got about 10 of them. I bought them off TikTok shop for £4.49 as a joke. Uh, see what they were like, but they're pretty all right. Some, some of the hooks in them are a bit blunt, but sharpen them. So that's, that's all I did. And then the sound, but yeah. So let's stop talking and get casted in. I got the end, end of the session a bit early today. Well, very early because, uh, well, my rod snapped. I, I literally, I cast it out. I just see a dink and my, just see my rod to come flying over. I just thought it'd come apart, but nope. I mean, I've had the rod for two years. It, it's had its life, sort of thing. Some of the times I've snagged it, I'm not wondering how it hasn't snapped, so. It is what it is. It means I have to get <laughs> another load of uh, money gone <laughs> to go and buy a new rod. So, uh, fingers crossed, I'm looking for one that's on a deal, so, yeah. Well, to be honest though, end of the day, I had about four something pike take it, two off the top. One, just down the margin, threw it to it, but spooked, and then the other one, comes straight in front of me under my feet, had it pinged off, and I just need to learn how to set the hook, because I set the hook, and then it comes off when I try to put the pull, so, great. Oh, I'll catch you in the next video.